Families talk of healing and beginning life again. And now that the Pittsburgh synagogue shooter case is over, survivors and family members of the victims are ready to share their reflections. Several sat down with KDK's Andy Sheehan to talk about the trial and the ongoing process to heal. Stronger together, stronger than hate. In the aftermath of the massacre and the trial, the survivors and the family members have endured great pain. But they tell me they've also found great unity and strength in support of one another. From the day of the massacre, it was clear to the survivors and the family members, life as they once knew it would never be the same. This has changed all of us. I don't think anybody who went through this as a family member or somebody, you know, as a, as a survivor is ever going to be the same as we were before. So some of the jury can never say, here's your life back. Here's your loved one back. And so it's up to us. In the aftermath of the trial, the loss is still there. My life is so different now without my dad. Um, my family and I miss him so much every day. Um, there are so many things that I wish he was here for. Now that they've had the opportunity to tell the world of their pain and the judge and jury have imposed the ultimate penalty, the family members say life can begin anew. I didn't realize how much stress and pressure I felt until I heard the sentence. It's a new beginning and I'm ready to live my life now. Andrea Wedner still suffers from the gunshot wound in her arm and witnessing the brutal murder of her mother, Rose Malinger. But memories of her no longer need always be painful. You feel like you can celebrate her life now? Yes. Because through the horror and the trauma, one good thing has come. Before the attack, they were separate parts of three congregations who might know each other to say hello. But over the past five years, they've supported one another, developing a closeness and a bond they've never experienced before. We've become like family, and uh, it's just been one of the beautiful things that came out of this. We're forever connected. Connected also to the region and the city of Pittsburgh, which they say projected to the world a message of unity and tolerance. The whole community was wonderful. And I think the world should look at Pittsburgh and say what a great place that is. In their loss, they found great wealth. They're wounded and scarred, but have emerged stronger for their pain, ready to carry on the legacies of those who died. We can now engage with, with the world while we still carry the loss. But it's allowed you to breathe a little deeper now. Breathe deeper, plan bigger, um, it, be open to friends, family, new experiences in, in new ways. Uh, armed with, with the love and the knowledge that we now have. For Carol Black, who's lived with the memory of gunfire that killed her brother Richard Gottfried, telling the jury of her trauma and hearing their verdict has given her her life back. I feel like now I can put that chapter behind me and uh, lead the joyous life that I plan to lead. And we want to thank these great people for sitting down with us and sharing their stories of perseverance and courage. And we wish them all peace and happiness in their lives going forward. Reporting at the Tree of Life Synagogue, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.